In this particular lecture, we're going to cover how to work with templates within Logic Pro 10. Now, a template is a pre-created project that has pre-created instrument tracks and pre-created audio tracks based on either a genre or specific purpose. Let's look at how to open up a template in Logic Pro 10. The first thing you're going to do is go down to the software program, open it up. Click on it, okay? From there, you're gonna go to File and then go to New from Template. This window's gonna come up, and as you can see, there's five different templates you can choose from. Hip Hop, Electronic, Songwriter, Multitrack, and Empty Project. Now, Empty Project goes without saying, is this gonna start from the bare bones minimum, you create everything, bring in your own sounds or whatever. Multi-track is where you're going to actually have 24 different audio tracks that you can choose from that are already created. And if you wanted to record, say, a live event, live band, etc., this is the template that you would use. For a songwriter template, it's going to have several audio tracks already created for vocals, for guitars, bass, you know, things of that nature for a song writer to create music in. Same for electronic. I mean, is this going to be based on EDM music, though? More so electronic music. So is this going to have instruments that deal specifically in that genre? Arpeggiators, uh, you know, saying different wobble basses and things of that nature. And vice versa with the hip hop is going to have instruments that are dedicated to hip hop. OK, now, if you go down here to the details. You click on that then you can control or set the actual tempo of the track before it even opens up, okay? It's a template before it even op opens up. You can do it two ways. Push it up like this or down like that or double click on it and type what you want that BPM or beats per minute, how fast or slow you want it to be in there, okay? Once you click on it, as you can see, I type 185 and there 185 is. Now, there's actually a couple of other features here within the details that you can affect. And if you have a MIDI device, a digital interface that can connect your external keyboard or different things of that nature, you can select that MIDI device here in output, audio output and audio input. OK. More on that in a later lecture, I just wanted to let you know you have these features right here. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to choose this here, an empty template, and I'm going to show you how to create your own template as well. All right. So say you like hip hop and EDM and R&B type music and you want to create something that has a template that has all of those different type of instruments in it. Let's just pretend that we have all the different instruments here that we want. OK, all you would do is go to file. And instead of saving as, you would save as a template. I'm going to say example template. So now when you actually go here to new from template, go to your templates and you have your example template. All right. So it's pretty cool. That's templates. If you have any questions, please ask. Thank you so much for watching this lecture. In the next lecture, we're going to go over creating new tracks.